What is good, Grey Gang? We're out here today, me and Adam. We're going to make kind of a farm, but not really a big farm. It's going to be a non-profit farm, not because we're a charity, just because we don't know how to make money off of it. But I was thinking, okay, we got a pool pond that's kind of like aqua farming or whatever. Then we got chickens that's kind of, that's kind of farming. I mean, it's the most alive thing we have, and it kind of does give us stuff like eggs and stuff. We'll check in on these guys. We've had them for a while. There's either one or two in here. Yeah, we got two. And it looks like we got a couple eggs right there. What's that, six looking things? We got Bonnie, and then the no-namer, cause she's never round enough to name her. She like goes missing for months at a time, but then she always returns. I mean, the chickens, they got a pretty big lot here. This could hold a lot more chickens, and I'm looking to get more chickens, but not many, cause I don't want too many to where it's kind of hard to handle and they poop everywhere. But I want it to where in the spring, this grows up with grass, and there's not so many chickens that it just turns into dirt. Ain't that right, Bonnie? What are you doing, buddy? Let's go get her some corn. Corn. Oh, yeah, and we never told him what we was wanting to do. We're wanting to get a goat or something. I mean, you know what? I, I kind of want a horse, but figured a horse is like a pretty step up. I'm not there yet, you know? I mean, I can't go from a I can't go from a minner in my pool pond up to a horse. Kind of need to step it up, go from like a minner to maybe a goat, then maybe something like a, a bison, and then up to a horse. But we'll get some corn here. We'll go feed Bonnie and the no-namer. Also, if you want to name the no-namer, just give it a name in the comments because... I mean, hey, if she sticks if she sticks around a little while, I guess we'll go ahead and name her. We'll go ahead and throw some corn out there. They seem to really be liking it pretty good. I don't know if chickens get lonely, but there's two of them, so maybe they won't get lonely. Eat. They got all kinds of space out here, and you can tell they, they're not running out of space anytime soon. They've even got some briars right here. This hasn't been long since that's grown up. Eat. Those are looking mean. We need to put a goat in here and let them eat it. But anyways, we got the chickens. We got a pool pond. We got peanut. We're gonna try to add a goat next. As you know, a big factor with goats is you gotta have somewhere to put the goats. You don't want your goats running out in the middle of the road all the time. It doesn't work good like that. And as a lot of y'all know, I have a giant field back there, but then again, I don't really wanna use that field unless I need to, and I wanna use my space very creatively. Oh. What? So you want this? Yes, I want this. I want this. Mountain goat. I want, yes, exactly. <laughs> I want. I want this little mountain-looking thing that has no use to be a goat's best friend because they like climbing around and stuff, and they can like climb trees and they can like do crazy stuff. And I want them to be able to eat trees and stuff. I agree. I want to use the land that's not being used for anything. If I could have chose with the chickens, I would have like put a tree in there with them, but. I don't know, it just didn't work out that way. But anyways, I've not really looked this over too much. I uh, kind of just decided I was going to get goats a couple hours ago. But anyways, I think we're going to do it. It's going to be, well, I'm wanting it as big as I can without being too big, if that makes any sense. You going to be building it? Maybe. See, here's the thing. I was trying to think, like, what does it take to keep a goat inside? And I was thinking, well, you probably need a fence. That's a good start. So then I was looking on Google, what do you need to build a goat fence? And they were like, if it can't hold water, it can't hold a goat. And so that is really intimidating. <laughs> it's a big step up for me. I mean, I can't even... I can't even keep a chicken in a lot. But then I thought about it. Let's just go electric and we won't have to keep it too tight. And plus another thing is with an electric fence, I can like go up and down hills and stuff because it's just a little thin wire that really flexible and can go anywhere. If we try and do it with like an actual fence and like gate and stuff, that'd be really tough. But like I said, I uh, haven't really thought about this at all. There's some barbed wire fence. We'll probably need to rip that out. I know that. I know. Oh, I know. I know that. Uh, I know. I don't even know. What I'm, I actually don't know what I'm saying. I know that Uh, they need to have some kind of dry place. And I was going to put something like that. And then I asked my dad and he's like, well, why don't you just use that? Because we're not using it. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Why don't you just connect the fence? Yeah. And bring it. Or you want to use this? I don't. I don't. I don't or care. Uh, maybe. Not. Maybe not. Maybe not this because it doesn't have a problem. Dad said uh, that they eat e eat everything, so he's like, just find a big bunch of brush and put, wrap a fence around it and let them eat it. He has some random stuff over here. Like he has some pops over here that he said he would like for them to eat, or not necessarily eat the pops, but eat the junk around it. So I was thinking, if we let the goats live in here, we could let the thingy go out in front of it. 
come out a little bit in like the open field and then maybe like uh, bring the fence down this hill or maybe around and give them some of that hill and then some of that over there. What do you think? Bro, I'm ready. This is good and all and it's great to visualize like this but let's go get a drone, throw it up in the air and get a, an aerial view of what we're looking at. That way maybe we can calculate exactly how much fence we need. See like I don't know if y'all can see this but there's a bunch of junk here and it's all grown up with weeds and our plan was maybe we can let the goats eat the weeds, maybe? And they can live in there, so that's all looking good. Right now it's got some wood in there, but we can always just uh, throw a flamethrower to it and get that out real quick. We got all this stuff right here. I don't know how many, that's a good, another good question is like, Kendall dude, how many goats are you planning on getting? Probably about two or three. Or seven. I'll be honest guys, I don't know how much fence I need. I'm just gonna go get a lot of fence and then I'll figure out how much I need after I get started. That of course will be on into the video a little bit, but let's go throw up the drone. Plus I kinda got a new drone and I think you'll be really satisfied with it. And if you're not satisfied with my new drone, I don't care, cause it's not your drone. What do you think about it Adam? Do you think we can have a, a farm? I know anything's possible when KG's got his mind to it. That's right. If he wants it, he's getting it done. Just like killing Bucky and catching the fox that killed all my chickens and catching a squirrel. Anything to do with hunting. As long as it's not like hunting related or fishing or trapping or anything out door, I can do it, guys. We played Farming Simulator 2013. We got this. Also, we had a year of ag class in high school, so that basically means we're farmers. We know how to do this. We had ag. I even got a car heart. You can't tell me I ain't a farmer. I got the farming starter kit right now. Got a good car heart. One year of ag. <laughs> a drone that I don't know how to use and land that's full of briars. Anyways, if you do want to know about the new drone, it is a DJI Mavic Pro. It's the super outdated version, but it's really good for me. I don't need the newest stuff because this thing can fly like four miles away comfortably. Plus it's gonna step up a trapping game because I don't have to walk to check my traps anymore. Revolutionary. Let's send this baby up. <laughs> There she goes. All right, so here's what we're looking at, guys. Right over here by this trailer, uh, you have right down there in the, it looks like a box trailer, and then a little bitty building. That's actually the chicken coop. We'll get a little bit lower, and you can see kind of like an aerial view of what we're hoping to be the farm. But you got the fence right there, pretty, uh, pretty mediocre, I would say. Maybe like the higher version of mediocre, but still, still not the best. It's got a pallet in there so they can jump on it and like eat bugs on it. But then here's what we're wanting to turn into the actual goat pen. See this mountain up here that has like a bunch of trees and kind of seems useless? That's what I want to make the goat pen, okay? I'm just thinking how about we try to put a fence around it and get goats in there. Plus, of course, I'm not using my brain and not going to use a wide open field. I'm just going to put them in, put them in the little tiny spot that no one's using. But as we come around here, we can actually look around and you can see that building. That's where we want them to sleep at. And then they can like come around that tree and uh, kind of jive around with it. Maybe scratch their back on it. As long as I don't run it into another tree, we'll be good. Yeah, here we go. This is a decent view. I'll try to put the pin all around all that wood, all that stuff, so they can maybe jump on it. So we can just put the fence around that, maybe right here on the edge of the field, and then let them kind of jump up on that, eat around it. There should be a lot of like uh, vegetation that grows there in the spring with all the trees and then possibly some of the grass that's going to grow. And then we can pull it maybe even to the other side of this building to where it consumes this other little part of the grass. I think that'll be a good little thing. And then, of course, the hill. Can you put a ram? I can if I can find one. Like, you know, one I want a horn. bison. Like a big horn. Another good thing to talk about is uh, what, what, what's our, why do we want goats? What's beneficial? Goat milk. Yeah, like what do you do with goats? Like they don't lay eggs. You can get milk from it. Some of them lay milk. Lay milk. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what to do with milk, and I don't know how to milk one either. I think we eat them. That's what I'll do with them. Cause don't if you don't milk them, then don't they like die? But that's two years of agriculture. I didn't have that yet. Yeah, we only had one we year. We had one year. <laughs> we ain't that advanced. There's goat milk, goat cheese. You can get pepperonis. pepperonis. I like pepperonis. Pepperonis and lamb chops. I like that. I'm sure you can get hamburger meat out of them. Something like that. Or can we keep one if it's a ram? Oh yeah, we're gonna keep some. We're gonna keep important ones and get attached, but then eat their kids. Oh, that's what we do with dogs. Breed them and sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's what you're talking about. I don't need no dog now. See if you can land it on me. So, what days are you want to do this? What day are you trying to start building? 
tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. Will you be here Tuesday? But I want to be here to be part of it. To be part of the building? Yeah. I'll make sure you're I here. want a goat named that, Bird Dog. Well, the first two the first two goats are going to be named Brett. Okay. Or we can name one Luke Skywalker. That's always a good option. Get like, some donkeys and sheep, too. Yeah, let's get donkeys and sheep, and then eventually I, I want a Pig. horse. I'm getting a horse. I'm getting a horse for the summer's 2030. We can get everything as long as we have enough money to feed it and have it. space to put it, which we got a lot of space. Yeah, we can plant corn, but corn don't do anything. <laughs> I don't think you want to catch it. You went right I think I, you went flying to my hand. I tried to catch it once, and I don't think it worked. Okay, guys, we're back out here at the goat fence. We're going to try to fix that thing up. The weather's changed a little bit. Adam's here again but it's been about a couple days later and it is straight came a giant snow i'll give you a little bit of update so we basically got all the stuff we need to build the fence i actually came out here and done a lot a lot of it off camera but we got these little fence posts right here and then we got the yellow things on them already now all we gotta do is put the yellow things on the rest of them and then just put the wire up and then get the electric ready we're ready to hold goat but as for right now we're gonna go around and uh put the yellow things on them that way we can actually hold the wires adam just asked where it went it starts here, goes to there, goes around that mountain, out there in the field a little bit, across, and actually comes down right here. So it's a big place for them. They should be happy. They got all kinds of land and stuff. Also, I want to tell you one thing. One subscribe equals one goat happiness. So subscribe if you're not already to make our goats happy. And buy a KG Attic. You know, great one across that shop or link in the description. It's really cold. Like, my hands are getting cold now. Here's what we're doing. Right now, we just got that right there, but we need a way to hook up the wire to it. And what we do with that is we get these things right here. They're just uh, kind of insulators, but we just stick it on there like this. And we come in and screw it on. Come on, maybe. That tightens it up to the fence. And then you tighten it down there, and then you can just run your wire straight through here. See, look. You can, like, go in there and then above there. It holds it in really good. So, basically, we got a lot of posts out here. Me and Adam's going to have to go around and use two bags of those. So, uh, that's really boring and super repetitive. So, we'll just get back at you whenever we get done doing that. Okay, guys. We went and we got all the little yellow things set up. Also, it's got a lot colder, so I took off that little hat, and I actually put on a real hat. This is the KG Bomber hat. Adam's also got it on, but I actually went and got the snow camo, like, KG face mask, too. That way it'll keep my chin and my mouth and my nose and the back of my neck a little bit warmer. But anyways, here's where we're at. We have the wire, the electric wire. Now we gotta run them from here all the way to every single one of those yellow things. So we'll go ahead and start. Uh-oh, we're already, we're backlashing. Go. Damn. We've already backlashed. That's not good. We're gonna need to keep your hand over it or something like that. It only weighs 30 pounds. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Get out of here. Really? Ah. Right. Well, just don't let it, try not to let it backlash. I'll come down here for now and see how the wire, we need more. Hang on, give me that back. Yeah, that's what I was okay. saying. Adam said, oh yeah, I don't need the nail that goes in between it. 30 seconds later. Hey, where'd that nail go? The nail makes it spool so you can actually hold on to it. There we go. Now see, basically how you do that is these little things. I don't know how good y'all can see that, but it has a place to go over and under. So you just bring the wire in just like that and it holds it in there. We're actually gonna start on the bottom. So we'll do that right there. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around like that because this is our starting point. Yep, now just move on down. Adam's gonna spool it out as we go. Try not to backlash anymore. All right, that's good. There you go, try to keep your hands over it. As long as you do that, you should be good. I got the worst drop here. No, you don't. You have the easiest drop. You just got to keep it tight most of the time. Right here. Now, if you can go low, right down here, I got to go down and over for this one. So, down and over. We're good. Keep on moving. Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah, it's slippery. It's it don't have to be extremely tight, but just tight enough to where it don't backlash. There we go. Now, for this one, Where same I'm thing. I'm good and creek back here. <laughs> same exact for this one. See if I can video this. Just lock that and we're good. Let's keep on moving. And so anyways, guys, that's basically what we're going to do the entire time. I'm going to go ahead and put up this camera because, well, it's taking away a hand from me and I can't really work as fast. <laughs> anyways, we got to go. We'll see you in a minute. And we're back. It is actually another day. We're out here. The fence is basically complete except for this. And this is the electric box. This is what's actually going to keep them inside. Because right now, I mean, you can see the fence right over here. I've done a little bit more work to it. Just those three simple steel wires, that, that's not going to keep a goat in. Like, he has to have some more motive. So, 
Maybe some electricity will be that motive. Or at least that's what we're hoping, okay? It'll be my motive, because I ain't getting in there. But anyways, we've went ahead, we've got all those things done. Now it is a complete fence all the way around, and you may notice the red things. What that is, that's basically just a visual marker. Not so much for me, and not even really for the goats, but mainly for deer. Just in case a deer's running through here, he'll say, whoa, there's a red thing looking there. It may be a... Maybe it's a bomb. I don't know. Our main goal for the red things is just to keep from deer running into it. Because deer, well, a full-grown deer sprinting through a fence, that will that will absolutely tear it down. And that's what we don't want. But right here, right now, I have this little box. Got it on Amazon. It said it was for chickens. Hope I didn't mess up. We're going to try it anyhow. But right now, I've got to get under here, under this trailer. And I've actually got to out. Try to hook it up somehow. Now for the electric box, I want to go ahead and put this out here. I'm not an electrician, so if I do something wrong or do something not perfect, sorry. But basically what you got to do with this is you plug it up here to an extension cord. That gives you your initial electricity. Then you got to connect this side to ground, which is for me, it's going to be these. Just some uh, good rods stuck down in the ground. That should do pretty good. And then this one right here says for the fence. So then I run it from there. This wire is actually going to go over, hook to that fence somehow. Honestly, guys, that's, that's really all we got to do. It's pretty simple. I'll set y'all up the best I can right there. Maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. We're probably going to hang it. So maybe hang it from like right here. That should be good. Basically, all I'm doing right now is just connecting that bottom wire to my ground, which in this case is a piece of rebar stuck into the ground. As long as that stays connected, we should be all right. Remember, I didn't take electricity in high school. I took ag, and I only did ag for a year. Update on what I've done so far. We got it hooked up, ground us to the ground. The uh, hot wire, whatever, is going out this way. Then I just made a little hook right there. That should do a little while, and then I should all we have to do, hook it up to that fence right there. Now, right down there, I don't know if you can see it. That is the wire that actually runs electricity from that wire down to that wire down to that wire it's all wired together right there so now all we're really liking is for me to go over there so i don't know somewhere get an extension cord hook it up here and then i think we should be good to go maybe that little light's gonna turn on if if we do it right okay moment of truth we got the extension cord here this is either gonna be the time where it really works out or the time where it really kills kg three two one Okay. I don't know. How do you test it? How are you supposed to test an electric fence without like actually grabbing it yourself? At least it's not shocking me right there. That's a good sign. But I'll be 100% honest, guys. I don't know how to check this. I mean, I know that the box is getting power, but how am I supposed to test if the power is getting to the fence? As for the goat pen, the only thing we're missing now is just goats themselves. And that's exactly where we're about to go. Okay, guys, we have, we're have we actually back with the goats. We're back at home. We are in the goat pen. The goats are inside. We got two of them. Now, I didn't really want to film too much down there because I didn't really know if he wanted us to film or not. So, I didn't. I just bought them. Now, as for names, I think we're going to name that one Tater. And that one, I don't know yet. Oh, by the way, they're both girls. That one's her mom. Oh, that one's her mom? Yeah, that one is her mom. So they are related. That's why they kind of look the same. So you may be asking, what breed are the kennel? And my answer would be, I don't know, but I know they're goats. That's already, about it. They've already pooped in here. Oh yeah, they've been fertilizing the ground. Fertilizing the ground, you yeah, man. We'll have, we're gonna start raising corn in here. Let's get on in there with them. I don't know how to get in this joint. Got to board up like Fort Knox. Oh yeah, the reason that we do have it boarded up like that, since these goats are new here, and they don't know me, and they don't know their surroundings, what we're actually doing, we're gonna leave them like this for a few days, that way they can get used to us. One, then once they get used to the sounds and everything, we can let them go and they can actually venture out. But for now, they could just go like straight kamikaze mode and run straight through the fence and then they just get out. And the guy we got them from said if they run away now, they have no idea who I am, they're just gonna keep going, okay? We'll find them like three years whenever we're out there trapping somewhere. Now, we're gonna try to get in here, I just don't know how. Hey, buddy. What's that ain't live, me? is it? Huh? That's not live, is it? Yeah, those are live goats. <laughs> the wire. Oh, no, it's good. <laughs> I got cod hoppers. I don't know if I can jump this thing. I can always try my best. Have you been here with them yet? Nope, never been in here. I hope this one destroys you. Oh, that's good. Don't mess the wire up. I'll tell you what, they act kind of scared. Let's go get some hay and some feed and actually let them eat like that. We'll let them eat out of her hands for the first time. That way they don't get completely scared. Bye. That one right there, Tater, she uh, she kind of looks like she wants to kill me. Tater Chip. Tater Chip? Let's do it. Hey, Tater. Hey, Chip. 
What up? Alright, here's what we're doing, guys. We're gonna be feeding and watering these guys. What we're gonna water them with, we got water, it's probably self-explanatory. Then, to feed them, we're gonna try to hand feed them for now to get them used to us even more. We got hay right there. And then if you look at the bottom, we got goat feed. It's basically just a bunch of different grains. And then we also got this pine thingy. They really like that. We figured that out. First, I'll water them. There you go, goaty. Goats really hate to get wet, so try not to splash it too much. But that there should oh, be perfect. Enough. Should be per perfect. I'm out of water for them. I'll go in first, then you can hand me the stuff. Okay. Then you can come on over. Hey, goats. I put my foot right there. That way I could actually climb over. Oh, yeah, and get the branch. They like that branch. I don't know why they do either. Hello, goaties. We got tater and chip. Watch them. It don't take long, son. They like them pine branches. Yeah, Chip's t Take Chip! You can't take it from me! Chip! 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 Meanwhile... Bro, it's a sketch. You gotta put your, put your foot right there. I can't. Put your foot midway down. Bro, I'm about to... Put your uh, left foot halfway down. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Alright, we're in. Meanwhile, Chip and Dale over here. Chip and Tater. Chip and Tater, my bad. Going ham on this thing. Hey, Chip give me that back. Let's see if we can do a little hand feeding. Here you go, Chip. That's Tater. Tater, huh? You don't like hay? Well, I got something else for you, Chip. I got grain. Man, that boys were pure farmers. We had ag. And I played Farm Simulator. I'm a farmer. They like that. Well, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Adam rocking the KG Bomber hat right here. Meanwhile, I'm actually rocking a new shirt. It's the goat shirt! If you can't read, it says goat, and then it has a goat standing on it, and a goat up here. Plus the little KG. Personally, if I'm gonna be honest, I think my favorite part about this shirt is the color blue. Anyways, if you want it, kindlegrade1.com shop for the first link in the description. And then I don't know if y'all saw that, but Chip actually had a KG fishing fanny pack on. I think it's time to go ahead and start the pull pond feeding frenzy. <laughs> oh, we definitely can. Dude, they spit it all over me, my don't you? They seem to really like it. They're not too afraid. <laughs> Chip is freaking out, dude. Chip does not know what's going on. Just hand feed it to him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and they're also both bred. So here in about four months or something, they should be having a kid. Bang! 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 I probably shouldn't make that sound. They probably identify that as not good. I'll let them know this is here. You can always eat all the grain that you want. And then right over here, we'll have you some hay. And then while they're just sitting here chilling, we'll talk to them and tell them about my YouTube channel. <laughs> here you go. KindleGrade1.com slash shop. First link in the description. Y'all should go buy some merch. Cowabunga! I think they like it here. And here we are, guys. The goats are safely up there and everything. We're going to go ahead and hook up the electric. I'm going to let Adam do it. He also wants to test it. That's fine with me. There you go. And you're good. Now just uh, touch the fence and test it out for don't us. touch it. No. I never wanted to. Just touch it. No. I'll touch it if you touch it. You touch it. If I touch it, you touch it? No. Why? Because you volunteered to touch it. Well, it's not going to do anything if you drop a stick on it. Dude, I'm scared. It's made for rabbits. What about that touch of plastic? Probably won't do anything. How do you know? How do you test it? You touch it. I got rubber boots on, though. Try it. <laughs> Come on, me and you touch at the same time. Ready? No. Come on. No. Here's one way to touch it. See, what I do is I touch it to this, and now they'll watch it whenever it touches that. Sparking. See it? Where? Right here. Right here on the fence. It ain't gonna be Check amps, it out. Does it? It's just barely even doing anything. See, it's not super strong. It's not like exploding. And it only does it every one second. See, it's not constantly doing electricity. But it's just touch it. click, zap, zap, zap. That's all it is. Well, if you ain't scared of it, let's go. You, I, you, I, you talk to it. It's not showing up on the camera at all. There it is. If you're going to grab the fence, grab it. You touch it. I don't want to touch it. If you don't want to touch it, that's fine. We'll just be letting down the gray gang. You don't Aww. want to do that. If Adam touches the fence, you have to you have to hit the like button, okay? Like, this is the end of the video. There's probably about 12 of y'all left watching it anyhow. Go ahead and hit the like button so Adam will go ahead and do it. Do it for the gray gang, Adam. We're expecting at least 40,000 likes. I will say this. The purpose of an electric fence is not to kill anything. It's literally just to spook it and be like, uh, oh, I don't like that. That's literally all it is. Because they don't make electric fences to kill animals. I don't like the shock, though. It, it can't kill... I have bad heart disease. I have a heart problem. 
See, you didn't get anything. No, you're right. Let's go. No. I touched it. No, touch it. I touched it. No. Huh? How are we going to be farmers? We ain't going to touch the fence. That's exactly right. Touch the fence. If you're afraid to touch the fence, then I'm going to delete your farmers only account. If you're afraid to touch the fence, I'm going to take your goats back to the house. <laughs> I put it in my backyard where we just have a regular fence. If you touch it, you can put it in your bio. I touched an electric fence. I mean, what's that? That's huh? impressive. Yeah, it is. Well, it's going to be more impressive than my bio where it says, I'm afraid to touch an electric fence. It's probably not even on. Well, we'll never know. Well, we'll grab it, figure it out. Right, I ain't touching no. It. We'll see you in the next episode. No. You want to do it on the next episode? What are you, chicken? Back, 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 back. So you're saying. What are you, goat? Back. So you're saying that if they tune in the very next goat video, they, they will start off seeing you grab the fence. I'll grab it. I'll hold it. All right. So next video, guys, you heard this first. Very next goat video is gonna start out with Adam grabbing the fence. He said it. If we had a how many? Just answers? grab it. Anyways, guys, we're going into here. Tune in for next goat video. We're gonna make him grab it.